Hey everyone, it's Sarah Threadster, NurseRN.com, and in this lecture, we're gonna go over the color-coded tag system used in nursing triage during a disaster situation. And as always, whenever you get done watching this YouTube video, you can access the free quiz that will test you on this content. So let's get started. The word triage means to group or rank. And in the healthcare system, we use triage, specifically whenever patients come to the ER. Whenever they're seeking care, they are triaged, hence grouped or ranked, based on their presenting signs and symptoms and what's going on with them. And if they meet criteria, if they're really bad off, they will be seen immediately. If they fall out of that criteria, their health treatment will be a little bit delayed and they'll have to wait until the patients who are really sick are seen first. However, in this lecture, what we're talking about is triage use during a disaster situation. And this is where you have many wounded individuals. However, you're very limited on the personnel and resources you have to treat those wounded. So you have to use your personnel and your resources wisely. And this is where the color code tag system comes into play. And a patient's going to fall in either one of four categories. So for exams, what you wanna know is what each color is, what it represents, specifically the types of injuries, and who has the highest priority of being seen first or second, who can really sometimes take care of themselves, and who's not going to survive. Now in the next video, we're going to go over the START method that is used to help you determine which category or the tag color the patient will fall into. But just for this video, we're gonna concentrate just on the color-coded tag system. So we have four tag colors, red, yellow, green, and black. Now, how I keep these separated, because a lot of people get confused with the red, yellow, and green, who's seen first, what injuries are associated with that tag color. How I like to remember it is by remembering a traffic light and what you do at a traffic light. Because black is easy to remember. That is the tag associated with a person who has died or they're in the process of dying because their injuries, they're not gonna survive those. So black is associated with death. However, these can get a little confusing. So whenever you have a traffic light, most of them have red, yellow, and green. What do you do at a red light? What are you supposed to do anyways at a red light? You're supposed to stop. So if a patient is tagged red, they are really labeled immediate. So you need to stop and you need to get that patient treatment because this patient has injuries that are life threatening. However, if we get them treatment, they could survive. So they have the highest priority of being seen first. And these patients are gonna have severe alteration in their breathing, so their respiratory system, their circulatory system, and neurosystem, their mental status. And what are some conditions that would make a patient be tagged red? Well, think of things that alter these areas, alter those ABCs. So we have spinal cord injuries because certain areas of our spine can uh, control our respiratory, our circulation, our heart. So, you know, patients who are in neurogenic shock, cardiogenic shock, they can fall into this category. Also, patients who are having bleeding, severe bleeding internally or externally, but if we can get them treatment, we can control the bleeding, transfuse them, and help them survive. Also, patients who have severe burns on their body, high percentage of burns, this is gonna definitely alter their circulation and their respiratory system, especially depending on where the burn is located, and any type of respiratory trauma, like a collapsed lung, etc. So be thinking of those conditions because that would make a patient be tagged red. The next tag color we have is yellow. And what are you supposed to do at a traffic light when it turns yellow? You're supposed to slow down, delay, because you're about to stop. So patients who are tagged yellow, their treatment is delayed for a little bit. So they have second highest priority compared to the red. So red seen first, then yellow. Now, the patient who is tagged yellow, their injuries are serious, they're significant. But as of right now, their breathing, circulation, neuro status, mental status is within normal range. However, 
due to their injuries being serious, that can eventually change and those things can become compromised. So we can delay their treatment for maybe an hour or so, but they will definitely need to be seen second. And some things that could be included in this would be like major bone fractures where they need treatment or some type of integumentary issue like an open wound or a deep laceration. The next tag color is green. And what do you do at the traffic light when it's green? You go. And a lot of these patients are termed the walking wounded. So these patients can get up and they can go. So if they're tagged this, they're considered minor. Their injuries are very minimal. They're not gonna be life-threatening and their breathing circulation and neuro slash mental status is not expected to change. So we can delay their treatment for up to several hours. And a lot of times these patients can actually treat themselves. And then lastly, we have the tag color black. And these patients who are tagged this, we're considered them expectant. So they're in the process of dying or they have died. And their injuries are so deadly to the point that they are not going to survive. So you're gonna have the absence of breathing circulation, the neuro status, mental status. Okay, so that wraps up this review over the color code tag system used in disaster triage. And don't forget to access the free quiz that will test you on this content.